right flying eagles of nigeria taking on south sudan in their second match of the african games match hosted at the accra sports stadium in ghana please don't forget to like and share this video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank you very much we start with south sudan on the ball garan gong with a strike from long range and forces nathaniel also into a save right there nice looking strike but the goalkeeper was up to the job gets the ball over the bar corner kick sent then and the goalkeeper once again does a good job this time punching the ball away free kick and Mario Albano trying to catch him slipping but can't keep it on target you get this ball sent forward and uh, Sunday Joseph giving chase he gets his foot on the ball actually but just can't keep it on target right there it goes wide and as you see right here nice hustle by him the defender makes the mistake and he was right there to pounce but just did not get it right at the end plays is wide off target and the score still 0-0 between nigeria and south sudan and you get this ball sent into the box sunday joseph this time with the head and once again the same result wide off target you get a nice looking ball by robbie abdullahi but the finish wasn't there it goes wide off target still 0-0 the score south sudan with an opportunity player in the box strikes but Nathaniel Wosu goes down low, makes the save. You get Sadiq Isiaka on it and foul right before he can make his way into the box. Free kick, flying eagles, ball sent to the far post. And that's just about the worst header you're going to see all day. Nice looking ball, but the header was not so nice looking. You get this ball sent, then the goalkeeper pushes it away. It actually was straight at the goalkeeper from Sadiq Isiaka. But this wasn't straight at him. Beautiful ball and just missed by Sunday Joseph right there. Great opportunity carved out by Isiaka. And you get this moment right here, a strike. But all it was was a shot on target. None outside of that. You get this moment of offside against South Sudan. And when you see the replay, you see it was definitely clearly offside. So no issues right there in that situation. Some nice touches. But this moment right here was kind of uh, contentious. You get us losing the ball. But luckily that shot is straight at Nathaniel Rosu. No issue right there. But you look at this situation. Did Daniel Bame get a touch on the ball? I say he did. If, if he didn't, look like it was uh, outside the box when the foul happened. If you want to call it a foul. Uh, but either way it goes, we move on. 0-0 zero, zero the score. And you get Sunday Joseph with the ball in the box. And this just only leads to a free kick against the Flying Eagles. A strike from Chibuese Izuogu. But it goes wide on target. No issue at all for the goalkeeper. This was an issue. A situation wasted right there. Sunday Joseph once again another opportunity this time Rabi Abdullahi plays it across no that's Sadiq Isiaka I apologize nice ball and all he needed was the right touch which he didn't get and next up you get the flying eagles pushing forward with the ball I believe that's Daniel Daga holding on to the ball a little bit too much a free kick one but I don't, I'm not a fan of that. It should have passed that a while ago, like three weeks ago. Either way, it goes free kick. And Izuogu this time plays it into the wall. It goes wide off target. As you see on the replay, bang into a player and out for a corner kick. You get this ball in the box. And the goalkeeper making a meal of things right here. Drops the ball and just luckily gets out of this situation. Paul Mara, the player who shoots, and it goes straight off the crossbar and right into the flying eagle. Look at how the coach wipes up the sweat. Just crazy situation right here. And you get this ball, another chance. This time, Daniel Bame with some great defending, captain of the side. Ball drops to the player, and right there on the spot, Daniel Bame to save the day. And you see once again, nice looking touch, but the defender was right there. And next up, you get this moment right here. The goalkeeper once again acting a movie. This time saved by some poor finishing. Ball goes wide as you see that right there. Just about the worst punch you're going to see all day. And you see that 
Wild Dog Target still 0 0 to score. You get the Flying Eagle sending the ball forward. Another good opportunity. And this time, the goalkeeper makes the save. The ball goes into the crossbar. Sadiq Isiaka, the man you would have wanted to be on the end of that. But at the end of the day, the goalkeeper makes the save. Nice looking ball. But the goalkeeper, like I said, make the save. And next up, you get this situation. Player in the box, but some nice defender to poke the ball away. We are on a break, but this right here, decision making, let us down. You get this ball sent forward. The flag goes up, but in my opinion, um, I don't think that's an offside, as you see right there. I'm not too sure about that one. And um, next up, you get this beautiful touch. And that's Rabiu Abdullahi getting it to his man, Sunday Joseph. And once again, Sunday Joseph, I believe this time he's kind of um, losing confidence in the game because he's taking too many touches, loses the ball. That's some nice work by Rabiu Abdullahi. And you see that right there, losing the ball, Sunday Joseph tries to cut back one too many, and the goalkeeper grabs it up right there. You get this corner kick, and Nathaniel Owosu kind of showing that, hey, I'm all right, I made the mistakes, but I'm back right now. And you see this situation right here, nice grab, and kind of giving your team confidence. You get South Sudan pushing forward, but this right here by Daniel Daga, nice interception. You get this ball sent forward, the flag goes up, and this time I'm pretty sure that's the offside as you see that right there clearly. And this is a foul on the man, Sadiq Isiaka, free kick for the Flying Eagles, ball sent in, we kind of had our own ball away, headed back in, the flag goes up at the end of this situation, but it was in the goalkeeper's glove. And you get this player going in the box, Paul Mara. And he's looking for a penalty right there in that situation. Looks like it could be a close call. The player goes what looks like for the ball. He goes down. The free, the penalty wasn't given though. And you get Charles Agata. I don't know what he's thinking in this situation. Goes for goal and doesn't even come close to it. You get this strike that goes off target. I believe that's Daniel Daga from the midfield. Not on target right there. And next up, you get Kane Day Ibrahim, second half sub. If the ball gets to Daga, he strikes it, but can't keep it on target. Nice work by Ibrahim, and Daniel Daga just can't keep that on target right there. South Sudan on the ball, beautiful pass to Mara, but he can't keep his on target right there. Beautiful pass to get him in the box. And I thought he should have been looking for a pass in my opinion. Then you get to this moment right here. Player goes down. Looks like a soft call in my opinion. But the ref points to the spot. And you see the long throw in the ball. Header. And the player goes down. Look very soft. You see the man's arm around him. But I didn't see too much in that. The penalty was given though. And I'm not complaining. Sadiq Isiaka looking for his second goal in the competition. Goes back, strikes the ball, and what do you know? It goes into the back of the net, and that made the score. Flying Eagles 2, Flying Eagles of Nigeria 1, South Sudan 0. Beautifully taken penalty by Sadiq Isiaka. Goalkeeper stood no chance right there. Was sent to buy coffee. Then you had this moment after the goal was scored. A scuffle in the goal. You see the pushing. Uh, Sadiq Isiaka probably happy about the goal. Tears of joy, I believe. Or I don't know. Either way it goes. You get this moment right here. The offside flag goes up. And in my opinion, just like the last couple of them, didn't look like offside. Either way it goes, that's what was called. You get South Sudan on the ball. Daniel Bamei goes down and wins the ball. But the referee blew his whistle, and rightly so. A yellow card was given. As you see that right there, two-footed challenge. Definitely not what we're looking for in modern-day football. And the free kick, either way it goes, went over the bar. And you get this situation, player passing the ball forward, but that man was offside either way. Then you get here, the offside flag goes up, which was wrong. Then the player just clashes into Sadiq Isiaka. You see this right here, clearly offside Sadiq Isiaka. Then look at that, 
boom, that's a red card situation, to be honest. But it wasn't called, and you get this ball in, and it eventually falls to Natalia Owosu. Another ball goes forward. Charles Agata gets on it, gets rid of the defender, but the finish right there let him down all the way. And you see, he does a good job getting rid of the defender, but the finish finish just was atrocious right there let's keep it real and you get this ball sent to the same man Charles I got I guess rid of the defender gets forward shoots it before he gets in the box but can't keep that on target it drags wide nice work to get past that one pushing forward the strike low and hard but can't keep it on target and you get this a free kick against the flying eagles right in front of their box as you see that right there clearly a free kick free kick taken and honestly not the best of free kicks it goes over the bar way over the bar looking for burst territory and um that was the last touch of the game the match ended 1-0 in favor of the flying eagles let me know your thoughts on the game put it in the comment section and please don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank y'all for watching. Peace.